Barbie Pony. Hey, Pony. I'm Krista. And Bella. And we are Krista Bella Ponies. Yes, we like ponies, ice cream, toys, dolls, Barbie, and more. And right now we are coming to the end of our Toy Story week leading up to Toy Story 4 movie. Yes, I am so excited. Hi, I am Tour Guide Barbie and I am here to help you with all your Toy Story needs. And we have done a wonderful week of all these amazing Toy Story toys. We've reviewed toys from Toy Story 4. We've gone back and seen our vintage Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 toys. And now we're gonna take a look at the toys from 2010. Isn't that the year Bella Pony was born? Yeah, I really did like Toy Story 3. Now, one of the cutest characters to come across the screen is one of the toys from Bonnie's room. Her name is Buttercup. It's a unicorn. I love unicorns. Yes, Buttercup is an adorable unicorn with little heart-shaped nostrils. So cute. Buttercup is really cute and goes real nice with Bullseye. But there's only one problem. This is the only Buttercup that we have for Bella's collection. We've always collected since 1995 the actual size of the toys from the movies. So unless you got put in a shrink ray Buttercup, you're a little too small. And she's a unicorn. I love unicorns. The last time I was at Hollywood Studios, I saw a cute, proper-sized buttercup that I almost brought home, and then I didn't, and it's been almost a year. Okay, I'm embarrassed. It's okay, Mama Pony. You can just wait till next time to get a proper-sized buttercup for the collection. Okay, step aside, Buttercup. You're so cute, though. And next, we have everybody's favorite, Bobby. Now, this is Barbie from Toy Story 3, and she's wearing the Great Shape outfit from, modeled after the vintage 1983 look. You can go back and watch her video on the Great Shape Barbies with the Toy Story 4 Barbie. It's really good. Well, just Yeah, we've seen her before, remember? Yes, she is wonderful. I really like her. This is a cute outfit. I like the shimmer to her outfit, right down to the shimmer in her leg warmers. And the high heels, well, that makes her extra special. Thank you, Barbie, for joining us. Hey, Barbie. Oh, Ken, you really did steal the show in Toy Story 3 with all of your vintage clothes, and you helped also with judging our fashion show that we did in one of our Toy Story 4 videos. And I can see that you're wearing a classic outfit, as well as you and Barbie just have so much chemistry in Ken's dream house, in the Nehru jacket, and all the classic clothes. It's like <sighs> life in the dream house. It's just wonderful. Life in the dream house? Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Oh. So these two really do have great chemistry and they're a wonderful subplot of the Toy Story movie. It's really cute and it brings in some other classic aspects of the toys. Toy Story 3 is really a cute movie. We have Lotso. This is an original Lotso from 2010. He is somewhat strawberry scented. Oh, so. do you smell it? This is Bella's original Lotso that she got when she was a baby in 2010. He is absolutely gorgeous. The Lotso hugging bear. Now, Lotso does talk and say some wonderful things and he asked for hugs, but we're not doing any copyright strikes here. 
So we aren't going to hit his buttons, but he does smell like strawberries and he is very cuddly and huggable. It's sad that he turned into such a villain, but you can see for yourself exactly how much villain he is in Toy Story 3 which is a great story. So I have done a ton of talking over the last few days. So I've got questions for Bella Pony and Mama Pony. Kind of a quick Q&A. Bella Pony, what is your favorite Toy Story movie and why? My favorite Toy Story movie is Toy Story 3. Okay, why is that your favorite? Because it's a but has but buttercup in it. Buttercup, okay. Any other reasons? Could it be Barbie? A Barbie, like her and you. What about you, Mama Pony? What is your favorite Toy Story movie and why? And this is a tough answer because I've thought about it for quite some time. I honestly think Toy Story 2 is my ultimate favorite. Though I like the first one, I have happy memories from it, and the third one made me cry. The second one, it showed so much depth. I remember being a young toy collector and dealing with people like Al and Al's Toy Barn, as well as running up and down the Barbie aisles collecting. And... I liked how it looked into the different aspects of mint and box toys and that sort of thing. It was really my favorite. Now, I really do like Toy Story 3, um, the caterpillar room and the butterfly room. It, it had some great stuff as well as all the hidden details. And I love how they really stay true with the story and the continuity is perfect. Well, that's great, Mama Pony. Now, here's up my last question for you two. What are you looking forward to most in Toy Story 4? Um, I know. For most is the, um, the whole thing. Like, the characters that they are finding funky. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to find out about Forky and who everyone is. I, I'm really excited. There's some great characters in the previews. What about you, Mama Pony? Oh boy, I'm really excited for the movie. I've loved the series forever. What I'm looking forward to most is the character that I cannot remember his name, but it's who Keanu Reeves plays that's roughly modeled after Evil Knievel because I remember playing with Evil Knievel toys back in the 70s with my neighbors. So I'm really excited to see this character and how it works out. And just, I never know what they're gonna do with the Toy Story storylines. You mean with, story lines. with motorcycle? Yeah. Well, this is so much fun. I'm sure I could come up with tons of questions about Toy Story and Toy Story trivia and Barbie trivia and all sorts of things about Toy Story, but you guys don't need to be here all day. Let us know down in the comments below what you're looking forward to most in the new Toy Story 4 movie. See you next time. Bye, pony. Bye, every pony. Bye-bye now. Please Bye -bye. click like and subscribe to join our pony family.